Time travel does exist in movies and stories. From Back to the Future, Quantum Leap, Hot Tub Time Machine, Dark, even the giant Marvel saga, Avengers Endgame. Welcome to the Theory of Everything, where we're going to serve you a plate full of rumors, dark facts, and conspiracy theories basically about everything in our pop culture. It could be about your favorite songs, favorite band, movies, series, games, or even about the hemisphere phenomenon such as time travel. We're going over the strangest and most outlandish claims of time travel experiences. Naturally, none of these can be 100% verified, but they are fun to think about. So tighten your seatbelt, because we will be boarding to the other dimension. If any of you ever heard of a person named John Tider, who started posting on the internet one day claiming to be from the future and predicting the end of the world. But then he suddenly disappeared and never to be heard from again. Let us remind you if we are talking about the same guy here. In 1998, an online post from this alleged time traveler took the internet by storm. John Tyler claimed to be a US soldier from the year 2036 and a parallel timeline. He shared grainy photos of his time machine as well as cryptic warnings about the future the year the computer virus wiped the world. His mission was to head back to 1975 in order to snatch and grab an IBM 5000 computer which had the necessary equipment to fight the future virus. His detour to the year 2000 was simply to get a little R&R while visiting his 3-year-old self, ignoring every fabric of time paradox rule from time travel stories. If he was real, though our timeline must have diverged significantly because his prediction of a second American civil war in 2004 did not come to pass. While the 90s generation still has a lot of questions about the John Tyler phenomenon and existence, in November 2017, a man calling himself Noah claimed to be from 2030 and passed a lie detector test. Yeah, we know, you must be curious about all his statements and that's why we are here. Noah said that Donald Trump, the President of the United States, has many controversial policies, will be re-elected as President for a second term in 2020. It seems that this has been proven wrong, unfortunately. Noah's next statement is about Mars. He said humans actually will get to Mars in 2028 along with the achievement of humans to Mars in the late 2028, a time machine will also be found in the same year. Noah also mentions electric cars. He said electric cars will experience rapid progress in the next few years. Moreover, the electric car will be able to drive itself, aka self-driving, which is already happening with a Tesla car, everybody. As he mentioned, Google's sophisticated device Google Glass will also be hyping up again, even on a massive scale. He said people will be using the sophisticated glasses to interact in cyberspace. Renewable energy will also be used globally. Noah also states that artificial intelligence will start to be used by many people in a few years. Still in the year 2017, another time traveler testimony coming from Sweden. The story of a person named Hakan Nordvist, who claims to have met an old version of himself. The story is that at the time he slept in the kitchen of his house and somehow he felt like he had entered a wormhole. After that, he suddenly met an old man who had exactly the same tattoo as his. Hakan also felt familiar with the person. According to him, it turned out that he realized that the old man was himself. Hakan immediately took out his cell phone to capture the event, because he was sure that no one would believe this story if there was no physical evidence through photos or videos. 
For those of you who love traveling around the world, must be know that going through a customs can be troublesome. But one man visiting Japan in 1954 had more difficulty than most. Arriving at Haneda Airport in Tokyo, this unknown man was detained because his country didn't exist. The man purported to be from a European country between Spain and France, which in our time is the microstate Andorra. Still, the man insisted that his country is Torret, has occupied the exact location. When he finds out his country is not on the map, the mysterious man says that the country of Torred has existed since 1,000 years ago. The man said that he often traveled abroad, including Japan, and it was proven that the man had a stamp on his passport. Perhaps even more mysterious is the fact that he vanished from the hotel room he was given to stay in, despite guards posted outside his door. Even his Torred passport was gone. Maybe he returned to whatever time or the parallel world he came from. At the beginning of the 19th century, there was a story that was almost similar to the Torred Man. A man claiming to be Jofar Voren or Josef Voren was seen wandering confusedly in a small village near Frankfurt in 1851. He claimed to be from Laxaria in a continent called Sacria. The problem is, there is no such place on the world map. This man got lost and claimed to have come by ship. Unfortunately, the ship sank, and he was stranded there. He did not know how the accident had happened or how he had arrived in Germany. He couldn't trace his route on the map. Jovar Voren was then taken to Berlin where he underwent further investigation. According to Jovar Voren's confession, Laxaria is separated from Europe and surrounded by a vast ocean. His own goal came to the village in Frankfurt to look for his long-lost brother. The man didn't seem to speak any other European language except German. He admits to reading and writing in a language he calls Laxarian, or Abra. Voren was then asked to explain where the Laxaria he meant was. He then described the five great regions of the earth which he names Sakria, Aflar, Astar, Osler, and Euplar. The name of the continents he mentions also have similarities with the names of the continents we know today, except for Sakria. The names are Aflar for Africa, Aslar for Asia, Oslar for Australia, and Euplar for Europe. Is it America same as Sakria in Voren's world? Who knows? We are sure some of you also heard other stories that sound real and looks like time traveler is real. Or maybe is it? We're not done yet, because after this, we will break down a list of time traveler evidence. So make sure to come back after this. Don't go anywhere! To theory of everything, we will break down some untold stories, hidden meaning, secret, and even conspiracy theory behind everything we consume in everyday life. Yep, you are right, we are still highlighting about the time traveler phenomenon. In fact, some people say there's a mountain of photographic evidence to prove the existence of time travelers from place, people, and objects to celebrity doppelgangers from the past. Are these evidence of time travelers, or just an overactive imagination? So, let's get started! An intriguing photograph from the 1940s supposedly showing a time-traveling hipster has been circulating on the internet since at least 2010. The image was first made available to the public in 2004 when it was featured in the Brelorn Pioneer Museum's exhibit their past lives here. The photograph was taken in 1941 
at the reopening of the South Fork Bridge in Canada, and when the museum digitized and placed online the collection that included this picture in 2010, some internet users noted that a man in the photograph appeared to be dressed far too modern for 1940. Picked up on the phenomenon and republished the image with headlines such as Time Traveler Caught in 1940s Photo. The idea that the man in the photograph is a time traveler hinges on three items he is seen wearing or holding that appear to be too modern for the 1940s. A logo t-shirt, a small portable camera, and wraparound sunglasses. But all of those items were readily available in the 1940s. His t-shirt, for instance, bears the logo of the Montreal Maroons, a temporarily appropriate hockey team that played in the NHL from 1924 to 1938. Glasses with protective side shields were also available in the 1940s. While this style of eyewear was not yet widespread, it is more plausible that the photograph shows a man of his time with unusual fashion sense rather than a time traveler. The final nail in this time traveler's coffin comes to us courtesy of Kodak. While many viewers assumed that the camera that the man is shown holding is simply too small to have existed in the 1940s, Kodak did in fact make several portable cameras that were available in 1941. The hipster man is not the only figure that people have latched onto as proof that time travel is reality. This image dates back over 100 years and shows some smartly dressed Canadians sitting on the side of a hill. On the left hand side though, sits a young man in what appears to be a t-shirt and shorts with ruffled hair. He was quickly referred to as the surfing time traveler due to how unusual his attire is. Others have suggested people in the photo appear shocked by his appearance, even pointing out the woman on the right who seems to be gesturing in his direction. Film footage captured during the recording of Charlie Chaplin's 1928 silent film, The Circus. It appears to show a lady dressed all in black, wearing a hat, and walking around the set talking on her mobile phone. Perhaps she really is a time traveler sent back through the decades to make a jaw-dropping cameo appearance. Or maybe she was a maverick genius secretly testing out advanced technology for the government and caught on camera at the wrong moment. Whatever the explanation is, a woman apparently using a mobile phone in 1928 has left viewers stumped. The baffling scene is found in the extra section of the circus and shows member of the public attending the premiere of the film at Man's Chinese Theatre in Hollywood. Even her gestures and behavior as she talks will be eerily familiar to modern-day viewers as she appears to stop mid-sentence during her apparent conversation. The bizarre anachronism was unearthed by film buff George Clark on his Charlie Chaplin box set. He says he has shown it to more than 100 people and still no one can come up with a convincing explanation. The first device that could be likened to a mobile phone was Motorola's original walkie-talkie, which was developed in the 1940s. But that was the size of a man's arm and still came more than a decade after the chocolate film. Portable mobile phones that we would recognize today did not appear until the 1980s, and even then, they were still too big to hide in the palm of your hand. In a video that Mr. Clark has posted on YouTube, he jokes that the only plausible theory is that the woman is a time traveler. The phone phenomenon from the 100 years of visualization has been found in a photograph depicting a scene from downtown Reykjavik in 1943, showing a crowd of locals and soldiers walking along with the sidewalk in Estrustrate, which was a street back in the 40s but has since been turned into a square. 
This photograph has been making the rounds on Icelandic social media in 2016. The photograph seemed to show a man speaking into a cell phone, a sure sign, some believe, that time travelers have visited Iceland in the past. Most thought the photo actually proved the mobile phone had either been invented in Iceland or pointed to it as yet another proof that Icelanders are unusually quick to adopt new trends. A couple of years ago, an ancient mummy was unearthed by archaeologists digging in Mongolia. At the time, it was suggested the funky-looking footwear she was wearing bore a striking resemblance to Adidas trainers. More evidence of a time traveler visiting ancient times? An investigation of the body dated it around 1100 years old. That's one heck of a blast through the past. However, further unearthing showed the woman was more likely to have been a Turkic seamstress which might explain the fresh kicks. She was found with an ancient clutch bag, a mirror, a comb, a knife, and more. But no mobile phone. We know that ancient Greece was a civilization which was very advanced for its time. But so advanced as to have access to modern computers? This ancient Greek statue has definitely raised some eyebrows and has time traveler advocates excited. Experts think the statue shows a woman opening a tablet or box. Skeptics like to point out the two holes on the side of the laptop, which they say represent power or USB ports. It all seems a bit odd considering there would be no way to charge the laptop and no Wi-Fi service for the ancient Greeks to keep up on the latest celebrity gossip. We are sure some of you also heard other theories that gave a legit evidence about the existence of time traveling, right? But still, we're not done yet. Because after this, we will break down a list of celebrity that is signed as a time traveler. So we dare you to stay tuned because the trip will be more exciting. Welcome back again to the Theory of Everything. As we promised before, we will take you with our virtual time machine to meet up with a famous person that we know today that is signed as a time traveler. Stay focused and do not confuse because this is a theory with lots of possibilities. We are sure you guys have been seeing articles claiming that certain celebrities are capable of time travel, from unknown 19th century men to infamous Roman emperors. These remarkable lookalikes have led many a conspiracy theorist to believe that the rich and famous can move back and forth in time as and when they please. The first stunning image is that of Pirates of the Caribbean star Johnny Depp and someone who looks like the spinning image of the actor. A little bit of online digging reveals the old photo to the left of Mr. Depp was shared online by Michael Johnston, who noticed the striking resemblance of his musician great-grandfather to Mr. Depp. What better way to hide the fact that you are a time traveler than to act all awkward and aloof while holding a career as an actor? Well, Michael Cera, you've just been busted. This picture taken in 1930s in Germany suggests some pretty big things. First, the Canadian actor traveled back in time as a spy to infiltrate the Nazi organization or, Michael Cera is actually a time traveler from the past sent forward in time to infiltrate Hollywood. Just think of him as the Terminator, only not so scary and murderous. 
we're not done with potential time-traveling celebrities yet. Thanks to X-Men, The Hunger Games, and Silver Linings Playbook, actress Jennifer Lawrence has been the actress in Hollywood for the past 10 years. But what about before that? Well, if you're into time travel, then she was Egyptian actress Zubaida Thor. Thought we hypothesized that Thor was looking to break into American cinema and change her name to the more common Jennifer. The last name? Well, that's easy. Who's the famous Westerner to have spent a great deal of time in Egypt? Lawrence of Arabia. The next photo is that of comedian and actor Eddie Murphy alongside a dapper-looking man. The unnamed photo on the left is supposedly dated to the 1920s, but the resemblance is so uncanny, even the most staunch of critics would be forgiven if they were fooled. But not everyone was convinced by the bizarre image and online sleuths proposed a number of possible explanations. Many online commentators have speculated the image was photoshopped, while others suggested it was a manipulated still from the film Life, which is set in 1932. Another vintage picture that was snapped on the streets of Brooklyn, New York shows what appears to be musical sensation Sean Corey Carter, popularly known as Jay-Z. Officially, Jay-Z was born on December 4, 1969 in Brooklyn, although the unearthed photo might cast some serious doubt on that part of his biography. The 1939 photo was snapped in Harlem by photographer and activist Sid Grossman and was discovered after several decades by the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture at the New York Public Library. In 2011, there is a picture in eBay listing with the title Nicolas Cage is a Vampire. Of course, it's creating many speculation. Is a time traveler in disguise is eccentric actor Nicolas Cage? An age photo taken of an unnamed Tennessee man during the brutal 1860s US Civil War looks too real to be true. Following intense online speculation, Mr. Cage might instead be an ageless vampire, the celebrity addressed the concerning rumors on the David Letterman Nighttime Show. Shortly after the Cage eBay affair, a similar listing went up on the site for a 150-year-old photo of a man who looked a lot like John Travolta. They have similar-looking eyes, hairline, spatial structure, and penchant for longish sideburns. As the AV Club noted, both Cage and Travolta starred in the 1997 movie Face Off, where they played characters who tried to kill each other and who swap faces. Perhaps it may have been a metaphor for their frustrations with immortality and the sameness of existence when you've lived a long life. Keanu Reeves is 57, but he basically hasn't looked any different since his 20s. He also bears a striking resemblance to the 19th century French actor Paul Mounet, which has led some people to theorize that they're one and the same. Another photograph of someone's great-grandfather has surfaced online, and it looks just like interstellar actor Matthew McConaughey. The photograph was uploaded to Reddit by Sanders Parker, who said the likeness is uncanny. In 2019, the internet discovered a photograph from 1898 which showed three children working at a gold mine in Canada's Yukon Territory. The image seemed to show a girl with an incredible likeness to the young climate activist Greta Thunberg. Does this make Thunberg a time traveler who's come through time to save the planet? We're here for it to choose, but it's a nice idea. People tend to hold an incredibly strong opinion about Anne Hathaway. There are fans who think the actress is a master thespian, a gifted mimic, and an all-around sweet gal, but a large contingent of the population hates her guts. Yet, it's her real-life role as a time-traveling muse that's got the internet talking. 
the time travel theory surrounding her actually isn't about her. Well, not exactly. But about her husband, Adam Shulman, who bore a striking resemblance with a young version of a legendary English poet and playwright William Shakespeare. But the odds is not stopped there. The real William Shakespeare also have a wife named, bear with us, Anne Hathaway. So the theory not only about time traveler this time, but also about reincarnation concept. Shulman and his Anne Hathaway were married in 2012, when he was 32 and the New Jersey-born actress was 30. Shakespeare and his Anne Hathaway were married in 1582, when he was just 18 and she was 26 years old. She outlived her husband by 7 years. In his will, Shakespeare left only one thing to his wife, his second best bet with the furniture. Other Twitter conspirators believe Shakespeare is coming back to right some wrongs after allegedly dumping Hathaway to become famous. Well, the next one is the more thrilling. A few years back, a number of images surfaced online that seemingly showed Russian President Vladimir Putin snapped over various decades without aging. Either proof that he's a time traveler or perhaps just immortal. If it's true, he's incredibly patriotic, with each image showing him serving his country in one way or another, though it's more likely to just be a strong likeness. So, that's it, the long list of time traveler phenomenon. Hope it can feed your curiosity. Of course, we'd like to know what you think. Please give us your feedback. You're also very welcome to give us another insight about another time traveling theory. Hope you have a good time travel with us. See ya! Assemble.